There is an idea in the cybercrime industry, in this underground enterprise, the black hat marketplace, this thing called initial access brokers and wholesale access markets. It's where the hacker, the cyber criminal, the threat actor, and the adversary has already broken into and compromised a computer or a network, a business, a whole company and conglomerate, and is now selling that access to anyone else who wants to do more damage and further post exploitation. In this video, we're going to explore the dark web, the Tor hidden services, and the corners and crevices of the internet, trawl around and see if we can find any of those initial access brokers and what they might be selling. I'm going to start the party inside of Flare. Flare will act as our springboard to help us kind of uh, dive into, do some dumpster diving and venture into the dark web because Flare has already incredible telemetry and intel on all of these different Tor hidden services or illicit cybercrime channels and it is one incredible thing for research. By the way, it's also an awesome thing for tracking and managing your exposed threat attack surface, but if you're interested in that, that, link in the video description. We'll get started by moving into the events tab, and this will show all of the information that's being tracked inside of my personal tenant, all the identifiers that I might set up for myself. Currently, I just have it configured to look for my name, my identity, who I am, and see if there are any occurrences across the dark web or illicit cybercrime channels. Looks like there's some weird stuff. Oh yeah, <laughs> cool. The jacuzzi's already mentioned me bringing the skid army. <laughs> Thank you everyone for trolling them or just bombarding them with nonsense. <laughs> Context for that, if you haven't seen it, go check out the last video. So let's toggle this into global and then let's go ahead and start to search for what we think is interesting along the realm of wholesale access markets or initial access brokers. We can toggle what we might be interested in or specifically where it's coming from. So some of the illicit networks or the open web and the clear net, whether that's on like Pastebin or any other site, social media source code on GitHub, maybe buckets for Amazon AWS 3 stuff. Stuff. We can toggle that off, leak credentials, look alike domains. Let's just look inside of like Tor or Onion, uh, cybercrime forums maybe, or marketplaces where they might be selling. We don't need to go into Telegram this time, ransom leaks or infected devices. No, let's just look on Tor for some cybercrime stuff. Uh, and let's actually bring this back a little bit because I don't want to end up showcasing any real current breaches or incidents. That would uh, not be, I don't know, what's the word for that? Polite? Courteous? humane. <laughs> so let's say beginning of this year, maybe anytime from March to May. How about that? Okay, so we haven't searched for anything yet, but before we do, I want to turn down the severity to kind of narrow the scope here. We'll start with a little bit of a small funnel and then expand that as needed. But let's now look for some initial access brokers. And the way we could do that is kind of track down how they are getting access or how they're maintaining that access. Sometimes it could be pretty simple, maybe VPN or RDP access. Let's start for RDP access and I'll search for this. And there are no events in the critical severity. So let's widen the scope here. Let's make high toggled on. Rather than looking for RDP, let me just say maybe I'm selling access. Let's search for that. Ooh, yeah, here we go. Hexploit posted on any forums, limited time, selling access to corporate internets with high integrity creds. Ooh, -hoo -hoo. for the funsies, let's go do it. I'm gonna copy and paste this link and we'll go check it out over on the dark web. Now, Oni Forums is a bulletin board that requires a login to be able to view and access some of the threads and messages and everything on the forum. Thankfully, it is not one of those uh, like pay to play websites like exploit.in or xss.is. So we can go ahead and log in because I have created an account previously. So here's the thing. <laughs> I tried to log in, but I get this notice. Your forum account is currently banned. Ban reason. Screw you, John Hammond, you skid. <laughs> They're mad at me. <laughs> Ban will be lifted never. <laughs> oh, the internet is a beautiful place. Let's just go ahead and register a new account. <laughs> oh, I wonder if there's any mention of me in the shout box. Like, were people whining and screaming about it? Look, he a cutie? Is that me? Are they talking about me? <laughs> All right, we are logged back in. We got another account set up and maybe we can go see if they're screaming about this in any other places, that'd be fun. But let's get back to that thread for the initial access broker. Let me copy and paste the link here. All right, for a limited time only, Hexploit is selling access to corporate internets with high integrity creds. It says, hey y'all, I don't really have a lot of time for my usual ransomware operations. I have a few corporate backdoors that might make for a sweet payoff if used correctly, so I'm gonna sell them here. I'm selling remote access to enterprise computers joined via Active Directory that are part of small to medium businesses. Perfect for ransomware campaigns or anything similar. Access you'll get will probably be administrator or local service or similar, which can be escalated to admin whenever you need. Couple of negotiable prices here. Okay, some smaller businesses, about 500 internal users or potential employees, $500, that's like cheap. Medium businesses, 3,000 users, 800, 20,000 users is $2,000. That's so cheap. These are a high ranking law school in the United Kingdom and a US ball bearing manufacturer. <laughs> Checking out some of the comments here, we've got Zero Cool, little Dade Murphy from the Hackers movie, of course, who would make an appearance. He says, quite interessant. 
and GN69. Not too much value just here for Breach says, based on these prices, we can probably say, hey, you know, that's a scam. You're a liar. Now, I don't mean to go too far down the rabbit hole, but I thought this is kind of one cool case study, in which case showing some of that work is really beneficial. This was a story from my day job put out a couple years ago, uh, and that they were chatting with one of the folks that was selling access to an MSP, a managed service provider, on the dark web, just sort of baiting them to see, hey, can we get information on your access and who you might have already compromised so that we can report it and then let the good people know to put the bad people away? So this cyber criminal, their hacker handle was Wozniak, and uh, based off of some of the work, uh, they have been arrested. Looks like they did catch them red-handed, and they were able to get a little bit more intel that they were actually a disgruntled ex-employee of the business. You can see the criminal complaint affidavit, and that individual was Markarius Britt, I believe? I don't know how to say your name, dude. He worked for the victim managed service provider company until they were terminated for failure to complete tasks assigned to them. In 2019, Wozniak created a post on the dark web forum Torum, which advertised access to this managed service provider for $600 payable in Bitcoin. The FBI and the other folks involved were able to track a lot of this down because it looks like the last four of their social security numbers was in the password based on their account they were using. And the Coinbase account that was receiving payment was registered to their name, again, social security number, address, and date of birth. So not the best opsec. One of the other uh, interesting tidbit, I think after we were kind of blowing the whistle telling the story here, looks like Torum, that cybercrime dark web forum, uh, was just, you, you could see threads, posts, folks messaging and saying, look, hey, we're trying to warn each other. Be careful who you're talking to. Uh, those folks are on high alert. Cyber criminals knowing that their shady deeds are being watched. I don't mean to drag you down the rabbit hole here, but these were the screenshots. Look, I'm selling access to a managed service provider in the United States, Eastern side. Hey, here's how you can contact me, Wozniak. Primarily Windows servers, hosting them with the VPS. You'll have access through RDP. So the scheme was to bait them. Let's say, look, let's have a down payment, 500 US dollars to learn about how you got access. Would love to get some of the screenshots, trying to understand how you got in. If we can validate that with their customer list, proof of the numbers, computers, anything that can give us more intel secretly for us so we could use that and bring it to the authorities, but also just, I don't know, kind of simulate, look, we're dedicated for this buy and this purchase. And Wozniak responded. Looks like they say, hey, we're able to get in via phishing, credentials, user accounts, customer list, compromise, everything they could showcase via screenshots. And they start to chat on Wicker, in which case they take a screenshot, not by taking a digital screenshot with the phone, but actually taking a picture of the phone, because otherwise it would notify them and alert the user, hey, there's been a screenshot that was just taken. So with those screenshots, we were able to gather enough intel to be able to determine what organization, what actual business and company this is, and then notify folks and help clean up this mess. Anyway, I thought that was a cool story and I think really a good feeling to be able to make a difference there and kind of get that, that cyber criminal actually arrested. So that's why we do what we do. Anyway, back to the fun stuff, digging around looking for things. Looks like there are some other posts from Hexploit even as recent as today, so I don't want to dig into that, but maybe Hexploit has a whole lot of other things for sale. Oh, and you know what? Actually, we can track that threat actor with Flare. Like we can just go check out what that user has shared on that forum. And if they have a shared username or other access, lots of other things. Oh dude, look at this. He started in April, maybe a couple of other things still need to be tracked down, but you can see all of their other recent events, like their introduction on the forums, their marketplace for malware, modern hackers guide to dealing with malware, buying Gmail accounts. Oh, a Q jumper proof of concept. That's wild. They're talking about over the wire. <laughs> All right, well, let's expand the scope a little bit more. Let's bring this to medium and see if we can find any other cool things here. Here's one on XSS, selling access to Columbia, selling access to SSH servers for your botnet, selling access to adult sites, excellent. Two OnlyFans creator accounts, that's wild. This one called selling access notes that it has three similar activities from other forums. Uh, so I'm curious if that threat actor was just kind of showcasing this. Have they collected that post? Not yet. Okay, can we get the link and go check it out? So we've talked about XSS.is before. Uh, and traditionally it's sort of a Russian forum. So a lot of this is in a language that I cannot read and do not understand. Uh, it's pushed through Google Translate right now, but we can see self zero. Hey, some of our access still for sale. We've got some Thailand finance and government sectors, domain admin access over RDP, Brazil, 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 Australia, Chile, Mexico. Okay. <laughs> this still feels like really cheap. Like, I'm not a cyber criminal, so like, I don't know what the bar is, but this guy hasn't gotten any hits. He hasn't uh, made a sale. It doesn't look like anyone else has responded to that threat. Let's take a look at the other one. I'm selling access to SSH servers for your botnet. Uh, looks like they were banned. <laughs> hey, if you want to buy access to SSH servers, you can add them to your botnet, access as many SSH servers you want. We'll just talk over talks. No response. The user got banned. <laughs> 
How about this Columbia one? Name? Oh, shoot. Okay, that is like the name of the company or access. Let's blur that out. Revenue 15 to 25 million yearly. Local admin privileges. Access is a full shell. Compromise servers Kafka. Breach includes FTP server. MySQL database full of the employee's info and passwords. Hit me up on Telegram. Okay. <laughs> Still for sale. Still for sale. Sold. Oh, he got a hit. He wins. Not that I need to celebrate that, but that's just wild and crazy. If anything, I hope that shows like this is real and like happens. Uh, and it's weird and spooky and scary, but it's like a genuine thing. We don't need to go look at the adult sites for sale or the OnlyFans creators. <laughs> Selling access from everywhere. Oh, that's on exploit.in. I don't have that one. Hey, if any of you listening in have a, uh, maybe a spare, I don't know, uh, exploit.in account that you might be willing to, to share for research. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm not saying anything, but I'm, I'm just saying, I'm not saying anything. I'm, you know, what is this? Ukraine selling on dread? You, um, that one might be a little too, I don't, I don't know. If, I don't think I want to touch that one. I'm not going to touch that one. Selling access to private tour trackers, selling access to the best botnets right now. New cyber criminals are selling access to Chinese surveillance cameras, selling access to payment services and shops. Oh, uh, they were banned and I haven't translated this yet. Oh, they actually wrote it in English just as well. Just after, uh, the Russian part. Price is negotiable. Contact me via DMs and then Jabber talks. There is no telegram. Okay. This is like fleshed out. This is... Hardcore. Oh, these are all the organizations that they have and are selling access to. Uh, a lot of these. No hits, no responses. Selling Argentina Navy mail access. What? Uh, uh. Oh, it's on Breached. That one's still dead. Yeah, okay. Hey, kids, here's your reminder. Uh, Cybercrime's illegal. Don't do it. You're going to go to jail and have a lot of really people, 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 you know, doing that, <laughs> tracking things down. Don't forget, there's your reminder. Just don't do it. Don't be a cyber criminal. <laughs> a lot of these are breach forms. Breach forms is probably popping off uh, with a lot of this initial access brokers and wholesale access markets. I think, yeah, like I made a presentation uh, when I was talking at Write a Boom on that specifically. And breach forms was like the showcase. I think I can pull up that presentation presentation or at least get some of the cool visuals from it right but hang on look at this access to ministry of economy of brazil covid19 ecuador database admin panel from a large french store breach forms was crazy top level ranking police officer from india yeah yeah yeah. this was the presentation on some of those remote access markets access to service iab wham initial access brokers and wholesale access market i won't like drag you through all this uh because we talked a little bit about black hat ransomware i was really sad when they hit five guys we talked a little bit about some of the black hat and elf the tradecraft, uh, and then we were starting to chat a little bit more about those initial access brokers. I wanted to highlight some of those different forums. Crack.io, Breach Forms is in there, of course. XSS, as we just seen, Exploit.in. And Breach Forms was like the number one thing to, to showcase. Nine million United States data with full info and SSN and account number. And they put this on Anon Files, which by the way, Anon Files has fell over. I don't know if anyone had seen it, but Anon Files, uh, they posted on their domain, hey, you know what? Uh, this has been a little bit too much for us. Trying endlessly for two years for a file sharing site with anonymity. It's just too much. We can't handle the extreme volume of people abusing it and the headaches it's created for everyone. Maybe from an onlooker, it's hard to understand, but tens of millions of people upload petabytes and it's just too much. Anon files threw in the towel. This cannot continue domain for sale. Uh, if anyone wants to buy anon files, hey man. <laughs> but this is exactly it, right? Cause maybe this is an example, anon file showcasing it and you could download it and it had stuff in it. I showcased a lot of these though. Like, look, this is the RDP uh, access with domain admin, uh, legal industry, about a hundred to 500 million US dollars. Only $4,000 for that in New York. That's crazy. Someone has actually sold, looks like they had a purchase for the Canada VPN access. And okay, then we got into Black Hat ransomware again. We should cover some of the ransomware stuff in the next video. Well, look, the thing is, we got to explore a couple of these. XSS, which has a ClearNet rendition, and Oni, right, Oni, I don't know, does Oni have a ClearNet rendition? But we did briefly mention Torum uh, with some of those, like, tangent little side conversations. Are there other forums? Yeah, yeah, here are all the ones that uh, Flare is pulling from. And, oh god, there are so many of these. How are there so many of these cybercrime forums? <laughs> Yeah, and the other marketplaces too. Uh, normally I feel like I see access being sold on forums because it takes the person to be able to say that and you can't like put up a listing with, I don't know, not Amazon for access. Hey, you know what? The video's going on a long time. I think that's the end of it. We've covered a whole lot of these initial access brokers or just access sold cybercrime on tour in the dark web. Uh, Let's see if we can get Oni Forums to ban me again. <laughs> hey, if you thought Flare was cool, take a look in the video description. And thanks so much for watching, everyone. You know the drill. YouTube algorithm. Thanks, like, comment, subscribe. I'll see you in the next video.